Good evening, Viva MK. Thank you for joining me today at six o'clock on Friday, the 2nd of August. Um, today, I will attempt to give you an update on what has happened during the whirlwind, which has been the last seven days. Um, of course, after the announcements of last Friday, there has been a huge spectrum of um, emotions and feelings behind it and of course um, comments which largely have been exceptional and very very supportive of course any change always causes concern it always co causes worry and you know and all those kind of emotions that's quite understandable and that's just me um, I don't know if anybody's old enough to remember Faulty Towers. I always remember Basil Faulty putting up this moose's head. He climbs up the ladder, he's putting this moose's head up, head up, and every time he gets there, his wife rings to ask him if he's put the moose's head up. Anyway, the point of that is, and very tenuous link, is that all week people have been asking me about progress. All week, which is fantastic. Don't ever stop doing that. Don't stop ever asking. Don't ever stop caring. Don't ever stop supporting you know it's been absolutely fantastic sometimes my point is i haven't been able to return your calls or your messages because it really truly has been an absolute whirlwind of a week with you know anything you can imagine has been happening um you know i know the announcement that i made to you last friday you know it had been in the pipeline for a while for various reasons um and at the point where I made it, some preparation, of course, had already been done in preparation for whatever the outcome was going to be at the end of last week. Of course, the outcome was the one that you know of, that I became the sole owner of this small business, which together we intend to grow into a huge business. So... I'll answer some of the questions that you've all been asking, and there have been various questions. Many of you have been asking about logistics, and where logistics are concerned, that's warehousing, storage, picking and packing, and delivery. You know, you can use, concern yourselves with such a lot of things, but that just shows that, you know, you think about these things, and you care about these things, and you care about the business. Well, where logistics are concerned, so let me repeat that again, warehousing, storage, picking and I think I got turned off there. <laughs> so where logistics are concerned, and, that, and by logistics, we mean warehousing, uh, storage, um, picking and packing, um, and of course, delivery. Where those things are concerned, I can assure you all of those had been thought about and are entirely on track. You know, the funny thing is, when it comes to um, this kind of operation, when it comes to um, the logistics of an operation, that in large is probably the easiest part of the whole conundrum because there's a lot of things to come together all at once to enable us to continue in this fantastic business. So to put your mind at ease, um, and I'll give you more details as time goes by, you know, there's a lot of work going on behind the scenes. And in a moment, I'll show you that it's not just me that's been doing it. It's an impossible task for one person to do. You know, many of you asked if I was doing it on my own. No, far, far from it. There's very few things that I can actually do on my own. Normally it's with a, a, an amazing team behind the scenes. So logistics, yes, all of it is on track. Warehousing, storage, uh, pick and packing and delivery. That is the least of our challenges. You know, generally um, you can get logistics operations set up very, very easily and we're truly on with that. Um, the next thing people have been asking about is catalogues. Now where catalogues are concerned, as you know, that's products, design and print. Three huge areas of catalog production, products, design and print. Um, and each area requires its own massive expertise to be able to do it. Now, I can tell you that that piece has taken the most time in the last seven days. You know, once, even though I knew the whirlwind was coming, once the dust had settled by about 6 or uh, 6.30 on Friday evening, the reality had struck home that so 
so much had to be done and it was a case of just simply getting on with it and doing it because that's what you have to do. So catalogs, products, design and print. Again, all of those things have taken a lot of time over the last seven days. Again, your questions were, were we doing it? Were we on with it? Were we getting ready to do it? Were we prepared to do it? Did we have the structure in place? The answer to every single one of those is absolutely yes, of course they are. The goals are exactly the same as they were. The catalog delivery time hasn't changed. And if it does alter, if it does change by any given amount of moments, hours or days, I will let you know. So logistics and catalogs are the biggest piece of this operation and both of those have been firmly on track. And when I say on track, as track as you can be in full seven days, it has been a whirlwind, it has been busy, it has been chaos, but I don't work in any other way. That's how business works. And there's been constant change every single day, which is again, brilliant. So I apologize for not returning calls and messages. I can't speak to everybody. It's, you know, um, I want to, of course, naturally I want to, because in the background, we're also preparing for our Christmas launch. So there's a lot of things happening at the very same time. A lot of things falling into place and forming the jigsaw that it currently is. This time last week, it was like a scattered jigsaw all over the place. Some pieces were missing, some pieces couldn't be found anywhere, some pieces just didn't fit. So it was a case of grabbing all of that, putting it together, getting the right people together, which I'll talk about in a moment, and just moving on with the job in hand. There is no time to sit around and think about these things. It, it, it really is time to simply get on with it. So I'll repeat to you again, because so many of you have asked me questions about general logistics and catalogs. Both of those are actually all on track and all being done. And, and when I say all being done, not just a couple of hours a day, not just two or three hours when we feel like it, I mean all of the time, every single day for the last seven days. And we've engaged a number of people into that to help that happen. Now, this week, you've had some challenges with deliveries. That timing was damn unfortunate. It was nothing to do with the transition, absolutely zero. I'll tell you exactly what happened. Early in the week, DPD raised their charges by a considerable amount, an amount that we couldn't pass on to you, so the conflict between our agent and DPD continued. We don't deal directly with DPD. An agent deals with them, and whilst that agent was dealing with them, it was advised that we use your Yodel in the interim period whilst that conflict was being settled. And add to that one or two delivery challenges where the current infrastructure is concerned, add to that, it made it look like it was a cause of the transition, when in essence, it was absolutely nothing, just very, very, very poor timing. Now, I've mentioned team. Um, you know, people have said to me, are you doing this on your own? Well, of course I'm not doing this on my own. You know, I'd like to think I was capable of a lot of things and a lot of things I can do, but there's no chance you can take on an operation like this in the very short space of time that we have to deliver the objectives. You have to get people on board that know what they're doing. You have to get people on board that you can trust. You have to get on people, people on board that really, Really, you know that they will deliver. So aside from all the assistance I've had from people in the network, and there has been a lot of that, and I thank each and every one of you. I'd like to thank you all individually, but we just don't have the time on this broadcast because so many of you have stepped up to the plate. So many of you have come forward. So many of you have shown talents that I didn't even know you had. And there's people behind the scenes in our own network working on things that you would never believe they're today working on. So when it comes to a direct team um, of course I'm not on my own as uh, six new people are engaged in the team now all I'm going to say about the team at the moment, because I'm not going to give you the names, because I don't want these people uh, harangued or contacted just yet, but there's six people involved. Five of those people 
have got a very long history, not just in Clean Easy, but catalog production, print buying, design, buying products, and not only that, their experience extends a lot further than that before that. So their experience is long and their experience is, well, very experienced. And they're the ideal people to get on board to help with this mammoth project. And there's another person helping um, with all the operational stuff. Again, their background isn't so much in catalog, uh, catalog production or anything like that, but an absolute gem of an addition to the team. Sooner or later, I'll tell you all the people involved. I don't think you need to know that. All you need to know are the six people that have been working behind the scenes that weren't working behind the scenes one week ago. So within the last seven days, I've engaged all of those people to do what they are best at, and that is logistics catalogs and getting the operation up and running. So I can tell you the business in that sense and going forward is in good hands with people that know what they're doing. You know, when you speak to somebody on the phone and you tell them what your challenge is and their answer is yes, of course we're on board, of course we'll help, of course we'll help you sort this out. You know, that's the kind of responses you want. And that's why having a, peop uh, a selection of people like that, that you know is absolutely vital. So where people are concerned, there's some great people on board. Some of them you'll know. I'm still waiting for a call back from Lloyd. I've called him every single day for the last seven days, still hasn't returned my call. And it's clearly playing very hard to get. So he would have been the same don't know what he's going to do, don't know what he did in the past, but he's just a great person to have on board. So the team is in place and there'll be more people coming on board because I need these people to do what they're good at. And the more people that I get that have that kind of experience, the more we will deliver what we intend to deliver. Now for me, August is the key. This in the whole piece is the most important piece because in August, like I said to you, the existing business will have its sense of deterioration. Of course it will, because we're phasing out one and bringing in the other. Now that sounds easier than it, to, it, it sounds easier than it's done, but I'll tell you something, the key to that is everybody sticking together the way you have done in this last seven days. You know, I've seen some of the Zooms you've done, I've seen some of the um, webinars and so on, I've seen some of the communications. If you can keep that up for a few more weeks, then August becomes a key, and that's the deal. You hold that piece together, and I'll continue holding this piece together, the operational backup to what we need. If we can do those two sides, we will deliver the results we want, and I'm very confident that you know like I said to you last week, nothing but nothing happens by accident. It is all by design. There are reasons this situation happened. There are reasons we are now doing this. There are very good reasons that you've heard about them earlier this week from various Zooms that I, I watched um, recordings of. So you've seen the reasons, you've seen the consequences that got us and the circumstances that got us to where we are. And based on those, you know, all I can do is make progress with that. So it has been, it's been a very exciting week. It's been a very daunting week. It's been a very scary week. It's been a very enthusiastic week. Do I wish I would have achieved more? I always think I want to achieve more. Do I think enough has been done? No, never. I'll never think enough has been done. But in that space, a lot has been done, but never, ever enough, never satisfied with that. So the week doesn't end now. For many of you, it doesn't as well. It doesn't end now a Friday just because we're doing a live broadcast. The week will carry on. There is no end to the week until we deliver what we're going to, that we said we're going to deliver. So, like I said, nothing happens by accident. A lot of it happens by design. Change is sometimes painful, but change is absolutely necessary for the kind of progress we're making. Now, I've always thought that anything is possible. Now, let me tell you a very quick story. I don't want to bore you too long because I don't like telling personal stories because ultimately I'm very shy. I don't like talking about myself, as you well and truly know. Um, 
You know, years ago when I decided I want to, wanted to write my first book, very few people were supportive of that. Very few people that said it could be done. Very few people said, even my lecturer, you know, I, I used to do English literature. Even they were um, daunting in their outlook that people just can't do these things. And I had a very busy lifestyle. How the hell are you ever going to do that? How are you going to achieve it? Well, I'll tell you how I do it. did it. Consistent and persistent effort. 1,000 words every single week for a consistent 59 weeks. 59,000 words in 59 weeks, week in, week out, come rain or shine, those thousand words were done. 59 weeks later, I had a book and for a first time author, it sold more than 50% that any new author in that year of my caliber had sold for a brand new author. And that was according to the, my, my own publisher. So, and the second one and the third one. Now, writing a book to creating a company is a very different thing, but the point isn't about what I was doing or what I'm doing now. The point is you never ever give up. And sometimes, you know, people don't mean to be negative, they really don't. But sometimes when you tell people the scope of what you're trying to do, they sometimes may suggest it can't be done. But to them it can't be done, that doesn't mean that you can't do it. You know, that might be their own limitation. So it's not because people are being negative. Sometimes these things daunt people. Writing a book is daunting to people. But if you do anything consistently, you do it day in, day out, and you believe in it, it will get done. I'm no writer, and if you've read my books, you'll probably agree with me. I'm no writer, but the point is, Anything can be achieved, even in the face of adversity. So what we collectively have done in seven days is phenomenal. And you might think, well, you haven't done a great deal, but you have, because you've stayed connected, you've stayed supportive, you've watched the Zooms, you've done the Zooms, you've been supportive of me, you've been encouraging, and that's in the face of the negatives that you may well have heard. Because not because people are born negative, but because people think some tasks are daunting. But that's their own limitations, not ours. I'll live by my own. I don't listen to people and I can't listen to people because I have to do my own thing and I have to keep doing it. So negativity, it says more about the people saying it and their limiting lives than what you can achieve. You know. I've always believed that if you're walking down the right path and you're willing to consistently keep walking, keep walking, eventually you will make progress. You'll get quite far as well, but you will actually make progress. You know, um, believe me when I tell you, my journey has never been a simple journey like I told you last week. But I've not wanted a simple journey. I've wanted an exciting journey. I've wanted a journey that was far from mediocrity. I've wanted a journey that has been challenging and that's exactly what it's been. You know, it's not been a simple journey of progress. There have been so many ups and downs, you know, throughout the years. And it's those choices that are made at those points that help shape anything that I have achieved or anything that I want to achieve. And today, I truly choose this business. I choose network marketing above any other business. And I choose the people, the good, ethical people in this business that have been supportive and continue to support. I know I haven't give you specific details, but Today, you don't need specific details. You don't need to know the address of the warehouse or where the boxes are going to be made or who's going to be packing the boxes. You don't need that information. One day you will have it. All you need to know is that myself and a very select group of people talented in this kind of business have been working behind the scenes. And I kid you not, when I spoke to you this time seven days ago, not one of them, not one of them were on board, not one of them. I hadn't even made any phone calls. It all happened after the live, once the dust settled and I really realized what we'd just taken on board. Look, we can do this. My part of the deal is to deliver what I've said and that's what I'm working on. 
your part the deal if you if if you if you will is to keep it together no matter what there are going to be challenges in the next four weeks of course there are but one thing i can tell you four weeks tomorrow i believe we'll have a lot to celebrate at the Christmas showcase. Okay, not all of you are going to be there, but four weeks tomorrow, we will have a hell of a lot to celebrate. I know it doesn't seem like a lot of time, but I'll tell you something, in the world out there, there's people that have achieved a lot, lot more in a lot less time. There's people out there that achieve things that no one ever believed in. They didn't even necessarily believe themselves at the beginning, but, I'll tell you, if people can do some of the things that you see being done out there in the world, feats of huge endurance, then we can do this. But your part of the deal, please, has to be just keep it together. Avoid those negatives. I haven't even got a problem with negatives because I think people are going to say that or say what they say because they speak from their limitations, not ours. And it usually says more about that person than it does about what you're trying to do. So, you know, four weeks, give it all you've got in the effort to keep it together, to stay connected, keep doing what you're doing, and I will stay in, in communication with you as much as humanely possible. Look, I've told you the run of what's happening today. Okay, I haven't given you exact locations, and some people have asked some they're not silly questions, but they've asked some very, very specific questions. Every time I get on the ladder to put the moose's head up, I get a phone call and I've come down the ladder, put the moose's head down and explain that I was just putting the moose's head up. So that's the kind of week it's been, but that's okay too. Look, we're all in this together, so I've got no problem with that. You know, keep your calling, keep your messages coming. It's okay. You may not get immediate responses, but we're in this together. Four weeks of concentrated effort and I think we're going to achieve big things. Now, on the basis of that, I won't do a live next week necessarily on Friday. I'll do one in two weeks. It just gives me two solid weeks to keep out there and doing what I need to do. So I thought I'd tell you that now, because even the perception of not doing that, people are going to think all sorts of things. So I won't see you next week, and I'll be back at six o'clock on the 16th of August, right here, to give you another massive progress update. And the way I see it, if we've collectively achieved all we have in the last seven days, then in two weeks we can move mountains and we truly will. So listen, thank you for listening today. I really appreciate it. It has been a hell of a week. You know, it's been a whirlwind, but every single second's worth it because I never stop believing that final dream that we have, that we are in this doing what we believe in. I choose network marketing, I choose Viva MK, and I choose the people who stand by me and stand together. Thank you for listening. Have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you back here in exactly two weeks at six o'clock and I'll tell you exactly what's been going on. So stay tuned and stay happy. Thank you.